I'm back on the pier again and today I'm trying the Barclay Gulp saltwater sandworm. I'll drop it over the side to see if I can catch a wrasse on it. And there you go, just put little bits on. We'll see what happens. Just had a funny bite. So it's time for an update. So I've got a float out on this one with a little bit of mackerel on. And on this one over here, I've got a one up, one down. And on the bottom, I've got a bit of mackerel on and a Barclay worm on the top hook. And on this one, I'm trying a whole one of those Barclay worms. So we'll see. Catch of the day so far. Crab. So I had to cancel my trip down at Eastleigh. And now I'm aboard on at Hill Head. Never been here before, but the tide's just turned. I've chucked out a uh, cocktail bait. We'll see. Now this is what I call comfortable fishing. Woken up and there's a load of birds outside. Bloke in a kayak out there. And there's some boat out there doing some work. It's all rather lovely. I'll get a rod out in a minute. Well, I had a bite already, but it ran away. I've got a two hook flapper on the Cobra and a pulley panel on the Gorvel. So we'll see. There's a boat over there. There you go, you can just about see it. It's got a wind turbine on, wind turbine blade on. So I guess he's going over to Portsmouth from the Isle of Wight. I've had some little nibbles up on the um, Gravel, so I'm guessing it's crabs as that's a real bait. Looks very shallow here, so don't know if there's any fish around. Just had that one bite so far. Any ideas what he's doing then? Yeah, typical me. I've just realised the tide's going out, not coming in. So all I'm going to do now is persuade Mrs B for us to go somewhere at low tide and have a go at the tide coming in. I guess I'd better bring these lines in soon because that. So there's no doubt that the um, the Barclay sandworm's getting it had a bite on it. Look, that one's untouched. Needs more trials, I think. Hang on, let's get the camera to focus. Yeah, so I think I need to try with smaller hooks, like I did yesterday. 
Well, we're going to move in a couple of hours. Uh, see what happens later. Back at uh, Old Portsmouth on Spice Island. So it's my third mark in 24 hours trying to get some catching something on those Barclay sandworms. So hopefully I will. And there we go, I finally caught one. Let's have another go there. Caught another one. And look at the beautiful colourings on this one. How about that then? Look. I think that's the prettiest one I've caught. On the same bit of sandworm. Fantastic. So I guess this uh, Barkley Gulp sandworm works then. That's, but it's on a different bit. I had to put a new bit on. They're getting bigger. So I'm guessing there just wasn't any fish where I was fishing before. All of the hooks were too big. Because I'm only putting little bits on. Look. And a little cork wing. And another very small cork wing. Hang on, you can see the black spot very clearly. Another pretty one. These rats have got some gorgeous colours on them. And is it a cork wing? There's no, I don't know, it's a rat anyway. So I thought I'd come around to the, the pilot chatty to see if I can catch anything else apart from a wrasse. Guess what? The answer's no. <laughs> it's a much lighter coloured. It's a cork wing. And finally, a different species. So in short, the the, garp, the Barclay Gulp sandworms in camouflage, two inch, five centimeters work. That's me, Dad.